10 things I'm over as a 26 year old girl. Number one, when people pressure me to drink and make me feel super uncomfortable, I've realized that they are the ones that have the issues and not me. Number two, we're trying to save money here. Frivolous spending is out. I've removed my Amazon app to a different page on my phone. And sometimes I just take a screenshot to satiate wanting to buy something. It always helps because that little click is like an instant gratification thing. Number three, waiting to make plans. When I first moved to New York, I was waiting for someone to invite me somewhere. Waiting, waiting, waiting. I initiate, if you see the post note calendar in the back, you could check on my Instagram for more. I have a whole process on just initiating plans. If you wanna do something, go make it happen. Don't wait for anyone, initiate. Speaking of creating number four, the phrase finding yourself, you're not finding yourself. You're never gonna find yourself. It's about creating yourself. Number five, avoiding sad news, sad music, things that bring me down. Part of creating yourself is surrounding yourself with things that inspire you, things that make you curious. And if they bring you down, it's a no. Number six, speaking of things that bring you down, letting people go and being okay with the fact that you're gonna have to let people go. Creating boundaries, not always having to say an answer right in the moment, saying I'll get back to you and setting boundaries for what's okay and not okay in your relationships is so important. Number seven, realizing that mean girls will always exist, which is super sad, and just understanding that I'll take up space at their table, but they have no rent in my head, and that's cool. When you know your worth, you don't really have to prove anything to anyone, so you can either partake or just let the drama play itself out. Number eight, speaking of bad, yucky things, food that makes me feel gross is just a no. I'm pretty much gluten-free. Well, I am gluten-free. I try to avoid sugar, and I've realized that my body works as a machine. And I have to feed it in order to let it fuel, especially if I have ADHD or autoimmune diseases. They're triggered by the food we eat and just lying to yourself and saying that food doesn't affect you is a lie. Number nine, I'm done saying I'm too busy. No one's ever too busy. You either make time for someone who matters or they don't matter. Also, having a morning routine is so important. Days without gratitude and seeing the sun first thing in the morning are no. And number 10, not checking in on the people I love, checking in on your grandparents and your family and making sure that they know you love them, your best friends, people who matter to you, people who pop into your head. That is so important. We're here for each other at the end of the day. We can't take any of this with us. It's just about the people we've touched. I hope that hit you or touched you in some way. And I'm Liv Shriver. Thanks so much for being here. Love ya. Let me know if you want me to do another one of these.